my name is Tale Alimi, and this is the Find Your Niche series, where I interview inspiring people from various walks of life, and they share their story of how they found their niche. My goal is to inspire and challenge you to up-level, so that you can find your niche, share your story, build your tribe, and profit from your passion this year. Now I have with me a multi-talented, I don't know what to call her, actress, singer, MC, ah uh ah, -uh, oh, uh -uh. she has, you know, she's just multi-talented, okay? So like, like, she started reading or studying entrepreneurship and business, but she dumped all the books for a career in entertainment. For me, she is the definition of entertainment. No. Now, Bisola, so how did you find all this your talents? You know, I don't know whether I call it, I should call it a niche or niches, <laughs> yeah, really. How did you all, all start? How did uh, you find your niche? Okay, well, you know how a lot of people say, oh yeah, I started singing since I was a child, or I knew I had this from my mother's womb, da 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 da. Yeah. But I remember vividly, it was growing up at about age six, seven, eight. Okay. When we, it was holidays, we have your cousins come over, and we used to entertain our parents. Okay. We had plays, and so I remember there was a particular song, Mama. <laughs> I, that, that I can remember because, and I happened to play by my maker. What the story was about, I don't know. I can't remember, but that song stuck in my head. Okay. I remember when I was changing schools because I was in a federal government college. I was 13 okay. at the time, and then I was changing schools because of um, distance. Okay. First, it was in Oshun State. Mom was like, you know what, come back to Lagos. And she took me to the vice principal's office, and the lady asked me, she said, uh, young lady, what would you like to be in future? Future, yes. This I remember very well because I was 13. I had this play suit on, with okay. socks rolled up, and sneakers. <laughs> the 80s, I don't like it. Okay. And I told her, I want to be an entertainment, entertainer. <laughs> and my mom seemed to be like, the look she gave me, like, like I literally can still feel the bit, mama. <laughs> so she gave me this heavy knock on my head and when we go home, she was livid. She said, how can you say you want to become an entertainer? entertainer? How do you become a lawyer? How do you become a doctor? What is wrong with you? So I just like, you know what, whatever. Let me just do what my parents, parents want. want. Okay. Uh, do. And then years going by, I started finding myself being interested in a lot of uh, music. Music was the love for me because I loved to that sing. That is true. You were in yes, Project, Project Fame. Fame. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay, yes. So, yes. You know, back then in the day, um, I had some friends who used to record. They, I, I never saw them, you know, release those songs. Okay. I used to do a bit of backup singing for them. Okay. So you can see, you should try it. Kept pushing. And then when Project Fame auditions came up, yes. my mom was my number one cheerleader. Like, really? We picked out the dress I was going to wear for the audition. Okay. The I had on. At the time, it was this Rihanna's uh, Take a Bow. Oh, and yeah, girl. Yeah. <laughs> so we went yeah. to the salon. You know, it took so much time. Eventually, I made it to the house. My yeah. mom was extremely happy. I made it to top five. I didn't okay. Win, okay. But I made it to top five. Yeah. So it was while well at the academy, Mommy J, as well as Jockey Silver. Okay. Mommy Jay, Mommy Jay used to give us some coaching on acting. Okay. You know, and a few of the creative directors on that platform said to me after the show, Abisola, have you ever considered acting? I'm like, no. <laughs> just like, no way. Like, it was just music. Yes. So, you have so many characters bottled up inside you. Yeah. Like, you know, switch it all over. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, okay, you should give it a shot. Try it. So, one of them, you know, put me on the Yoruba series. Now, my Yoruba is not really strong. Mm -hmm. It's probably one guy, one guy. But, you know, he put me on the Yoruba series. Okay. From there, it's not been easy. Okay. And then we started going, going, going forward. Yeah. Uh, not too f long ago, not too long ago, I said, a lot of people have been telling me, Bissola, why aren't you on radio? You have a good voice, you can yes. talk, you, can, you have so many characters that can bring up so many things. Why don't you try radio? I'm like, radio is not what I want to do. I really love this acting I'm doing. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Enjoying the it. acting thing, yeah. So I said, okay, you never know. Radio could just be it. Yeah. But you know how you reverse it or not go and watch Roger, it. Roger, okay. <laughs> you know? So many, so, many niches, yes, many, many so ways. Many, <laughs> many ways. I said, yeah. let me give radio a shot. And mm -hmm. I did. And luckily, I became the head of program. Yes, which is where I met you, by yeah. the way. I met this on our radio. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but you know that moment when you're not fulfilled. You just yes. feel like, 
there's more, more you can do. yeah there's different things mm. you can just put your hand into yeah. it. I also, I'm a tailor. No way! You're actually a tailor. Yes. Oh, this guy is most talented. So for you guys who are watching, who are multi-talented, I mean, Bisola should be like an example. Okay. Don't don't, don't limit yourself. That's one thing I, I have found out. If you okay. Want to do something, give it a shot, even though you're not sure about it. Yeah. So I was taking that risk. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is a paid job. You get earning a salary. If you leave now, what is the guarantee that you know? Producers, directors will contact you and launch you on their movies, movies. and their films, and then, mm, just give it a shot. And mm. then I did, and it's been like, oh, right. you know, like it's all right. yeah. <laughs> you have and now you have so you have so many sets, aren't yes, you? But you know, it's, it's, it, it was <laughs> difficult at first going yes. for auditions, trying to prove yourself. So, you yeah. And then social media has helped. Yes. And, like it's. You know, I've seen some of your videos on social media. I have <laughs> laughed. My, the school fees one, go! You know, that school fees one was. Parents, as a parent, you know, you, you just begin to wonder. Like, ah, you know that you're not gone. She, she don't go to school, you know. You know, you know, it's not just train. It is. It is. That was just train at you, right? Yeah, you know, we, need train we need it. We need it. We need it. Yeah. So little things like that, you know, yeah. help push you, put you out there. Yeah. I've gotten calls from different producers and directors telling me that, oh my goodness, I just saw your social media, well done. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that's my own PR company. <laughs> <laughs> social <laughs> media PR company. <laughs> you know? like so all you have to do, just keep putting yourself out, out there. there. So when mm -hmm. I decided to leave radio, I just found out that, okay, so that I think you should just put in all your time and energy into this. That doesn't mean I don't have a side hustle. Like I said, yeah. Um, I'm a tailor as well. Okay. In the long term future, I'm not one of these who are the designer. Yes. I do. Uh, Couture. I just, I just you know, I'm That's not, the way they do. I, I, I admire when they do stuff. Like, yeah. How do you think this time? Time. How do you draw this thing? Yeah. You know, I'm more of a mimic, MC, okay. host. You know, that yeah. is that, that's where my stress singer. That's where yes. my stress are. But yeah, I would like to own an outfit. In future, okay. where you just have tailors, let me just so call it. This okay. Yes, book. Yeah, so your okay. side gig to That's keep it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't no. no. say, oh, yes, I've arrived. I'm like, yeah, I'm all, I'm that diva. Everybody. Yeah. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Mm. You, know, you have to keep your eye on your coins, honey. Honestly. On your coins. Honestly. So. I mean, I like this angle of Bissola. Bissola, thank you. I like the angle because for Bissola's case, of course, she followed her natural talent. You know, and then she explored different options. Mm -hmm. So in finding your niche, don't limit yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. There might be different things you are good at. Try everything. The worst mm -hmm. that can happen is you will fail, exactly. right? That's and the then when happen. you fail, you know that you are not good at it. And you move mm -hmm. on. You yeah. move on and all that. Mm -hmm. And then of course, like she says, it might be hard. So maybe you don't want to jump at it. Mm -hmm. You wanna, you know, yes. you know, manage your growth yeah. before you really finally focus on your niche. Thank you, Bisola. That's very entertaining <laughs> and educating.